Hi Pisces, this is going to be your mid-month reading. Um, so I am a couple days late. I apologize. This is going to take you through the end of November. It is going to be general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. I did want to mention a couple of astrological influences. Um, the good news is that Jupiter was retrograde, but it went direct mid month last month and it is the planet of good luck and blessings. And so I feel like there's going to be some fresher energies coming through um, for all of us. And it is a message that the Jupiter message has been coming through for the collective. Now we've got a pretty intense event coming up tomorrow. It is a full moon eclipse in Taurus. And Taurus is a fixed sign. For the next couple of years, the eclipses are going to be in Taurus and Scorpio. On the Taurus-Scorpio axis, um, these are both fixed signs. Uh, the If we think about um, a full moon eclipse, it's like a full moon on steroids. And the purpose is to sweep away that which is no longer serving us. So it could be a habit, a belief system a career, a job, a person, um, a relationship. Uh, it could be more than one thing, um, but it's really about sweeping away and releasing those things that are not serving us anymore. This helps us grow. Um, so the energy could be getting pretty intense. Um, you are a sensitive water sign, and so you probably feel it more than most people. Um, the energy will calm down, so it's it's going to be important for you to like stay present, stay grounded, and just you know take care of yourself any way you can. Uh, it could be a bit of a bumpy ride, and this energy could definitely stay with us for a while. Okay. Um, before I get into the reading, I just want to make a quick announcement. I'm going to pen a comment down below as I always do. Um, there will be links to my social media accounts if you want to connect with me there. And then I'm going to put a link to my website uh, where you can book a 30 or an, a 30 minute or an hour reading with me. I'm also on Wizio now, you guys. Um, this is a great platform that makes it so easy for me to respond to readings in a very timely manner. Um, I do much shorter readings, but they're much more affordable. So if you have um, one question that you need answered, if you're looking for clarification on something, um, then that would be the way to go. So you may want to check it out. I'll put the link down below as well. Um, another thing is I've listed the decks that I use on the channel in the description box, and there's a link that directs you to my Amazon store if you're interested in purchasing any of those, and I'll try to remember to call them out. So we're starting with the Moonology deck. And this is full moon in Taurus, and that's tomorrow, but it's the full moon eclipse. So this is very accurate energy. This says your dreams need a practical plan. So Pisces, you are the dreamer of the Zodiac. And, you know, I've never met a Pisces that I didn't like. Um, and that's one of the beautiful things about you is you are so dreamy and you're so sensitive and so intuitive. But this is really saying that your dreams need a practical plan. So this is about strategy. This is about thinking about the steps needed to move forward with this plan. So this is like life changing stuff. Um, and you guys, I will say a major theme for the collective has been transformation, metamorphosis, phoenix rising. So I do feel that the collective that I channel for anyway uh, is going through um, major transitions. And it's about rising up and really starting to live our dreams, which is very exciting. Uh, you know, it doesn't come... Uh, without, you know, obstacles and challenges though. Uh, so really think about next steps to like call in um, these dreams that you're that you're wanting to chase, okay? It, it really is about taking practical steps, creating a strategy, taking action, being persistent, and being consistent, 
It's like taking action every single day. Now, the next card that is coming through is from the Energy Oracle deck, and I love this. This is a man holding a coin, and this is the equivalent of the King of Pentacles, and this has been coming through for so many signs. The King of Pentacles is an energy of self-mastery. So it's like you've arrived, you've gone through the trials and tribulations, you've learned your lesson, and now the rewards are coming in. It's like you're stable, you're financially abundant, you've achieved what you've wanted to achieve in career, in life, in love. Um, so this is a really amazing energy, and I feel like um, you are moving toward um, this destination of achievement is what I'm feeling like. So amazing energy. Now, the next card that we have is from the Black Moon Astrology deck, and it's the water element, and this is about sensing. And this is really amazing that this came through since you are a water sign and you're very, very sensitive, deeply intuitive, deeply intuitive. Um, you know, if we think about water, water goes with the flow. Um, water does not try to force its way. Th like, you know, if you think about water going down a river, if it comes upon a, lo a log or a rock, it's not going to try and beat its way through. It's going to go over, under, or around. And so it just flows. And so this is the message to just flow and really pay attention to how you are feeling. Um, if you, this is about really listening to your intuition, really letting um, your higher self, your inner wisdom guide you. It will not lead you astray. Um, the equivalent of this, this corresponds to the Ace of Cups. So this is about honoring yourself. It's about taking care of yourself, self-love, and you know, it's a new beginning. It's a new chapter to call in um, all this emotional contentment that you're striving for. Um, yeah, in astrology, the element of water represents our emotions and our talents of the imagination. Water characterizes the realm of vision, taking us into the quintessential depths of feeling where intuition is more appropriate than acquired wisdom and knowledge. We get carried away on water. We have feelings of floating or being adrift over water. So you may feel a little bit adrift like you just don't have the answers. You're not sure the next steps to take. And so this is really saying just trust what you're feeling inside. The information is going to come to you. Um, this is really about sensing what is accurate without being told. So nobody is going to be able to tell you what the next step should be, okay? Um, this also indicates a lack of energy. So I feel at this time with the eclipse coming up, um, you could be feeling a little bit lethargic. Um, like I said, the energy could get really intense. Um, so just take care of yourself. Now, the Queen of the Moon deck, we've got faith. And look at this card. It's amazing. This is like Mother Gaia, okay? Mother Earth. This is Empress energy. And it's absolutely beautiful. This is the Worm Moon. And this is about having faith. I just want to read this to you. Fertility and abundance now return. Things will get better. Growth has started Hold on to your dreams in adversity. And this is really where um, this is really where the persistence and the consistency is gonna help you, you guys. Um, yeah, this says when things seem to fail, it is really difficult to draw up our resilience and stand up again. Um, but it's in the darkest times that we find it, we find it hard to see the light. It is hard to see when things seem hopeless. How can we ever feel hope again? Um, so 
yeah, if you're feeling hopeless, if you're feeling like nothing's been working out for you, just have faith, keep going, and just trust the information that's coming to you. Now, I'm going to look at the, pre the past, the present, and the future energies using the tarot, and this is the Gilded Tarot. We've got the Eight of Swords, and so I feel like in the past, you were pretty stressed out, um, maybe going round and round in your thoughts about moving forward. Um, you know, what's the next step? It's almost like there was analysis paralysis, um, like you couldn't, uh, it's like the information may have been wanting to come to you, but I feel like this mental um, energy was blocking the sensing energy. That's what it is. The mental energy was blocking the sensing energy. And so it's important to really balance out um, our logical mind with our intuition, you guys. We've got the moon coming up and, you know, so I'm seeing the moon all over. I'm using all these moon cards and we do have the eclipse coming up tomorrow. The moon can be about fear, about um, not seeing clearly. Um, some things are hidden. Uh, so you could have been feeling a little bit fearful in the past, a little bit confused uh, about the way forward. That We've got the Three of Pentacles coming through, and this is a very earthbound energy. And it is about teamwork and collaboration. It's about building something. So I know from the past energy, um, you are wanting to be on this path of building something, but it's almost like you're not sure of the way forward. It's, it's almost like you are not trusting yourself. That's what I'm feeling. You're not trusting yourself to really move forward on this path. Now in the present energy, we've got the King of Swords. Um, I love this because this is a self-mastery card as well. Uh, the King of Swords is sharp. He's intelligent, uh, you know, very intellectual, very logically minded, can be a little bit of a cold character, um, but he has clarity. He knows um, the way forward. Uh, he, you know, has a lot of confidence and he is really an expert at communication as well. Um, so this is the current energy. You, I feel like soon you are going to be gaining your confidence. Now we've got the two of pentacles that is coming through and this is, this can be a juggling energy or it can be a balancing energy. And I feel like with it coming through next to the King of Swords and with this depiction, I feel like this is more of a balancing energy. Um, it's interesting because I did mention that it's going to be important to balance out your logical mind, your intellectual mind with your intuition. And so this is going to help you moving forward. This is also a very earthbound energy. And so it's about balancing those priorities, okay? Home and family life with work and career. Um, so I do feel like you are going to be finding some balance um, if it hasn't happened already, this is the energy that's coming in. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So this is absolutely beautiful. Um, finding this balance is going to help you rise up. Um, it's going to help you uh, continue on your journey of self-mastery, of really figuring it out. Because we've already seen the King of Pentacles uh, which is coming through in the overall energy. And these are, you know, the day-to-day -day energies. This is the present energy. So I feel like um, you are moving into the Queen of Pentacles energy. And then, you know, in, in just a short amount of time, you're going to arrive at the King of Pentacles. So this is about abundance. Um, this is a very earthbound energy. It's very nurturing. It's like the mother archetype. Um, but it's very grounded. And I feel that with these pentacles coming through, because we're seeing a lot of pentacles, you guys, um, grounding could be very important for you. And the first message was, you know, practicality. And that's what 
the earth represents um, is practicality. The earth signs are very practical. Um, so yeah, I do feel that in the present, it's like you are going to figure it out. You're going to learn how to balance things. You're going to learn how to be more practical so that you can chase these dreams. In the future energy, we've got the lovers. And, you know, normally I would read this as like a soulmate or love or something like that, but that's not what's coming through. Um, this can represent relationship harmony, but this is also about duality. Um, and so it is about the light and the dark. And the Worm Moon card was talking about the light and the dark. Um, so this is a spiritual lesson um, because it is a major arcana and this is in the future. And so I feel like what's coming through is you're going to be able to integrate. You're going to be able to accept and balance um, the light with the dark. We all have it. It's like our shadow side um, with, you know, our, our light side and it's a matter of having these two work together, having the awareness of the shadow side and the light side, um, the, you know, the drawbacks or the um, challenges and then the beautiful gifts. So it's all about balancing those. Now, we've also got the chariot. This is really kind of incredible, you guys, because it's another major arcana. And the chariot comes directly after the lovers. And the lovers is about a decision. And so it could be a decision to really um, accept yourself on a deep level, accept your shadow side, accept the duality within you. And by accepting this, you are able to finally move forward, which is represented by the chariot, and you will start making progress okay, towards your goals, towards your dreams. And then we've got the seven of wands. And this has a lot of different meanings. Um, but in this, I, I just feel like once you um, have the information that you're seeking, once you really learn how to trust your, your intuition, um, you are just going to stand your ground and you are not going to settle for less than what you want. It's almost like a light bulb moment, like the you, you flip the light switch and it's like there's no going back. There is just no going back. Um, so you are going to stand your ground. And I just want to get this clarified. Oh, yeah. Nine of nine of cups. It's like you're going to go for it. You are absolutely going to go for it. This is wish fulfillment. And it's like you're standing your ground. You're ready for this. And there it is. I'm going to leave it right there, Pisces. Um, thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when I upload new content. I am sending so much love as you continue on your journey. Bye-bye.